Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do we have a story that sounds like it is straight out of the Babylon Bee? I couldn't believe the story when I first read it. I was like, there's no way, there's no way this story could possibly be real. But then I sat down and I thought about saying, you know, this always happens, okay? When the government, aka the Democrats, accuse the other side of the aisle of doing something and they're extremely, extremely, extremely passionate about it, unreasonably passionate about it, um that just means that they're doing it themselves okay it is clearly them projecting their own guilt to others and this story right here is basically that <laughs> as uh a former fbi agent by the name of charles mcgonagall now again if i pronounce that wrong i apologize right a lot of you guys have been getting getting on me in the comment section about my pronunciation of names Again, I'm not very good at pronouncing stuff, guys. It's just what it is. But uh, anyways, this guy, a former FBI agent who investigated Trump for the um, non-existent Russian collusion, has been arrested for basically colluding with Russia. <laughs> no, I I'm not kidding. That is literally what, what happened. Take a look start with that stunning arrest of a former FBI intelligence official based in New York accused of violating sanctions against Russia, even taking money from a foreign national while at the bureau. Charles McGonigal appeared in court just a short time ago in lower Manhattan. Prosecutors say he broke his oath to the country for personal gain. McGonigal was arrested after landing at JFK Airport over the weekend. He worked at the FBI's New York office as special agent in charge of counterintelligence until retiring in 2018. But he now faces claims that he tried to help a Russian oligarch after leaving the agency. News Force chief investigative reporter Jonathan Dean starts us off with some new details on the case. New York's former FBI counterintelligence chief pleaded not guilty. Charles McGonagall is accused of trying to help launder money for this man, Russian oligarch Oleg Deripaska. McGonagall's past work as a top leader at the FBI was to help track spies and investigate oligarchs with ties to Putin. Experts say that's what makes this case so concerning. He had access to not only his own agency's information, but the information of other agencies like the CIA, like the NSA, like the Secret Service. Dara Posca has been in the news in recent months. The FBI seen searching properties in New York and Washington as it investigated the oligarch in connection with evading sanctions. McGonagall accused with another man of using shell companies as part of the alleged scheme. But before he retired from the FBI in 2018, McGonagall had received classified briefings about Russian oligarchs. A former Russian diplomat turned interpreter was also charged today. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said both previously worked with Deripaska to attempt to have sanctions removed, and as public servants, they should have known better. There was a second criminal case filed against McGonagall in D.C. today, accusing him of taking $200,000 from a former Albanian intelligence officer while he still worked for the FBI. So the big question is, what did he spill? to his new friends. McGonagall's defense lawyer says he denies wrongdoing and that the charges relate only to business dealings and alleged false statements, not bribery, not espionage. He served the United States for decades. This is obviously, you know, a distressing day for Mr. McGonagall and his, his family, but we'll review the evidence. The second man charged today, Sergei Shestikov, also pleaded not guilty, both men released on bail. The arrest happened over this weekend with McGonagall arrested at Kennedy Airport as he returned from a trip to the Middle East. Jonathan Deanst, News 4 New York. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. Now I want you guys to understand the irony in this story because this story is, is pretty deep. It's a lot deeper than what I'm gonna cover in this video just to keep the video short, okay, and simple for you guys to understand because there are a lot of national security implications considering that this guy was a senior official at the FBI basically working on behalf of a Russian oligarch who was tied to Putin. Now, he was working on behalf of this Russian oligarch to allegedly uh, investigate a rival of the Russian oligarch. And after leaving the FBI, uh, he also worked to have sanctions lifted against the Russian oligarch. Now, the Russian oligarch in question is Mr. Oleg Deripaska, 
who was at the center of the um, Mueller investigation into Trump, right? The Russian collusion investigation in which they claimed that this Russian oligarch had ties to Trump's campaign manager, Paul Manafort. OK, now, again, I want you to understand this guy, uh, the FBI agent, the former FBI agent, Mr. Charles McGonagall, uh, was a part of that investigation into the alleged collusion between Trump and Russia just to just a few years later, turn around and actually start colluding with Russian oligarchs himself. <laughs> right. Again, it's, it's so funny how this works. It's absolutely hilarious. So. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to read this quick article here from the New York Post uh, that sums up this situation and the irony here pretty well. Uh, instead of spending years chasing down 100% fake Russian collusion by Donald Trump, turns out the FBI should have been more worried about the red under its own bed. In this case, that means former uh, top counter intel agent Charles uh, McGonagall arrested Saturday over his alleged illegal work after retiring from the bureau for Russian oligarch Oleg Deripaska. He's also accused of shenanigans on behalf of an agent of Deripaska's while still serving in the uh, New York FBI office. Yes, the same agency that helped launder the fictitious steel dossier into a wiretapping case against Trump uh, campaign staffers. Uh, that was Operation Crossfire Hurricane, I, I believe. Right. And whip up a national frenzy over Trump's non-existent connection to uh, Russian uh, intelligence has now uh, seen one of its own nabbed for exactly the same kind of murky dealings. It spent years sounding fake alarms about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, Russia, 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 Russia coming from the FBI. And you got one of their own agents literally colluding with Russia. Amazing. Again, you can't make this up. You can't make it up. Uh, they should have been investigating themselves, right, instead of Trump. Indeed, McGonagall was one of the chief instigators of the now infamous Crossfire Hurricane probe into Trump and his circle that found uh, Zilch. He sent the email that set off the whole shebang. Bonus irony. Both the dossier author, uh, Christopher Steele and Fusion GPS, the firm that hired him to do it, also did work for Deripaska. The only way this could get more incestuous is if these names popped up in that ex-Intel official's domestic disinformation campaign to paint on a Biden's 100% uh, real laptop as a Russian op. <laughs> yeah, so also what's funny as well, too, speaking of the Hunter Biden laptop thing, apparently uh, Mr. Uh, McGonagall referred to the Russian oligarch as the big guy, right? They referred to him as the big guy. <laughs> Wait, again, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. It's so funny. The FBI is the nation's chief law enforcement agency with a vast uh, remit and huge powers. Its naked politicalization is bad enough that it should have been pointing the Russian finger at itself instead of Trump is beyond appalling. Those White House Republican investigators sure face a target-rich environment. Facts. They should definitely be investigated, bro. You know who else should be investigated? Adam Schiff, who uh, was peddling the fake russian collusion narrative including again the debunked steel dossier aka the trump pp -pee tapes right <laughs> trump allegedly like getting peed on by russian prostitutes again i bring that up a lot but that's just how outrageous it was okay this is what they was peddling in the mainstream liberal media that trump liked to get pissed on by russian prostitutes i'm just saying and the mainstream liberal media bought it right and they pointed the finger and said trump is the person you'd be looking at he's working for the russians Russians bought campaign ads to try to trick black people into voting for Trump in 2016, right? They came up with all types of crazy stuff while not thinking once that, hey, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, we should actually be pointing the finger at our own intelligence agencies who are constantly uh, spewing misinformation slash disinformation to the American public in regards to the people that are actually working with russia right that are actually colluding with russia again amazing story absolutely amazing story let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace